consider once more these combinations here j plus minus and now we want to study the product of j minus with j plus by definition that's j1 minus i j2 times j1 plus i j2 and if we multiply these terms here then we get j1 squared and we get a j2 squared and we also get for example from this one to this one we get an i times j1 j2 so plus i j1 j2 and then from here we get j2 j1 but with a minus i so this here is really a commutator and the commutator of j1 with j2 that's i times j3 so we have j1 squared plus j2 squared minus j3 and now we can conclude that j squared which is just j1 squared plus j2 squared plus j3 squared this can be expressed in terms of this product j minus times j plus and then here we have to add j3 squared and we have to subtract sorry we have to add also a j3 in order to compensate for this minus j3 like this what happens if we multiply them in the opposite order so we start with j plus times j minus then these signs here change and then the sign in front of the commutator changes and here it's a plus j3 so j squared can also be expressed as the product j plus times j minus again plus j3 squared but this time minus j3 